I have here in front of me our 13 and a half DVI 900 megahertz dual pole flat panel antenna. Today I'm going to show you how to mount the mounting hardware for this antenna. In the box you'll of course get the antenna, the antenna bracket, a radio bracket, two U-bolts with mounting hardware, two bolts with hardware, and two radio mounting plates. Now for best performance we recommend using this mounting plate, it has a little tab on it. You can just toss this one to the side. First thing you're going to want to do is take the nuts off of the antenna. You're then going to want to put the bracket onto the antenna. You'll notice this antenna can be mounted in dual slant or in a horizontal vertical configuration. We're going to be doing this one in dual slant today. Take your nuts that you just took off the antenna and add them back onto this. You're going to want to tighten these down with a wrench, of course. Next step, your radio mounting bracket. That's what the small bolts that are included are for. Stick your bolt through, put the flat washer on, the lock washer, and then of course your nut. Same thing with the bottom one, bolt through, flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. You'll notice this antenna can be adjusted vertically and hor vertically for down tilt as well. Next step is your U-bolts. The U-bolts go through here and have a lock washer as well as a flat washer. Flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. If you have your U-bolts mounted, you can mount it onto our J-arm here. Like I said before, you're going to want to Adjust your tightness a little bit before you mount it to the J-arm so you can make it a little easier for yourself. Now that you have your antenna mounted to the J-arm, you're going to want to mount your radio. Radio slides into the bracket just like this. This is where the plate comes into account. Plate slides over, the plastic clips on at the bottom. As you can see, it's very solid. And just like that, you're ready to deploy.